Assalamu alaikum readers, Mahad here and in today's video I am going to be reviewing A Thousand Splendid Sons. This is a book by Khalid Husseini. In my previous videos I have reviewed another book by Khalid Husseini called And the Mountains Echoed. In my opinion, if I compare these two books, A Thousand Splendid Sons is a bit more boring than And the Mountains Echoed. Khalid Husseini took the last 33 years of aggressive Afghanistani wars and portrayed them through the lives of two women. Holy Mother of God. These two women are named Maryam and Leila. Husseini started each one of his chapters with either one of their names so we know from whose point of view we're reading about. Maryam is way older and way poorer than Leila. To tell you guys how poor Maryam was, she used to live in a kolba. A kolba is a small house made of mud. She used to live in a kolba until she was forced married to a wealthy man named Rashid. Rashid's son had recently drowned in a lake and Rashid was very unhappy with Maryam for not giving him another son. So he left her. When Leila was only 14 years old, a bomb had exploded in her house and she was the only survivor, half deaf. You're gonna have to speak up! I am having trouble hearing! Rashid took her in and married her and made Maryam a slave. Leila and Maryam became fast friends and actually decided to leave Rashid and seek refuge in Peshawar. But they were returned by the police and received a severe beating from Rashid. Another time when Rashid was beating them, he met his end. He was literally choking Leila and Maryam hit him hard on the head with a shovel. And now the rest of the story is for you guys to uncover. Despite the fact that this story was about Maryam and Leila and their friendship, Khalid Husseini depicts how hard it was to live during the war times. This book was written by Khalid Husseini. I would rate it a 3 out of a 5. Don't ask questions. The reason why I'm rating it a 3 out of a 5 because it was kind of slow. The whole book was slow and then in the end suddenly it got too fast. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button smash the notification bell and also drop a like on this video. The fact of the day is, um, I don't know. Okay, after a bit of research, I found the perfect fact. The longest a person has ever went without sleep was for 10 days. What? Well, good night. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sh Nani? It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> On a final note, kids, don't forget to eat your broccoli. It's good for you.